cover letter introduces you and your resume to potential employers or organizations you seek to join. It is the first document the employer sees, so often it's your first impression to make. Take advantage of this important first impression and prepare the reader for your application, stating why you're writing, why you're a good match for the job, and the organization. Cover letters do more than introduce your resume. A cover letter's importance also includes its ability to explain your experiences in a story-like format that works with the information provided in your resume, allows you to go in-depth about important experiences and skills and relate them to job requirements, shows the employer that you are individualizing, tailoring the job application, and providing a sample of written communication skills. The following resources are a compilation of tips and strategies to guide you throughout the writing of your cover letter. So what is the purpose of a cover letter? There are a few. A cover letter communicates your personal brand, it introduces you and your resume to the employer, it explains why you're writing or applying for the job, it details why you're a good match for the organization and the specific job, it demonstrates your abilities and helps establish your credibility, it draws your reader's attention to specific qualification, and it provides a sample of your written communication skills. A cover letter always needs to be tailored to the job. Show specific needs of employers and how you meet them and persuade them that you align with their goals, organizational mission, and needs for a particular position. You're going to do this by best understanding the job and representing your skills as they relate. In order to impress prospective employers when writing your cover letter, you must first know what they're looking for in candidates. Learning about the company itself and what they value can help you do this. Here are some suggestions. Read the job posting carefully. Always attain a copy of the position description and review it line by line. Research the corporate website. Read and try to understand their mission statement. Call insiders, people who work at the company, and talk with them about the organization and the position. And finally, refer to your career development network to help you best understand the organization and who it employs. Your ability to learn the needs of your readers will help you write a cover letter effectively. You should learn as much as you can about your audience, your potential employer, before writing the cover letter. Your goal is to learn about the organization, its goals, and its needs. Then you should learn about what kind of employee the organization needs and what that individual would be expected to do. Once you've collected all of that information, you should think about what to include in your cover letter to best meet your audience needs. Begin by identifying keywords that you found during your analysis of the job posting and job description. Words that signal that the employer considers important or essential for a hiring decision. Words that give an insight into the skills, accomplishments, personality traits, and levels of education and experience the employer desires. Consider this example. A company posts the following job description. Can you identify the key words? Looking for a highly motivated, customer-oriented individual to work full-time at our customer service desk. Reading this advertisement for keywords will help you see that the employer is looking for a person who's highly motivated with customer service skills. The introduction of your cover letter should include a salutation, such as, Dear Mrs. Roberts, if you're uncertain who your contact's gender, avoid using Mr. or Mrs. by simply using the person's full name. The body of your introduction can be organized in many ways. However, it's important to include who and why you are writing. It can also state how you learned about the position and why you're interested in it. Many people hear of job openings from contacts associated with the company. If you want to include a person's name in a cover letter, make certain the reader has a positive relationship with the person. In some instances, you may previously have met the reader of your cover letter. In these situations, it's acceptable to use your introduction to remind the reader whom you are and briefly discuss the topic of your previous conversations. Most important is to briefly overview why your values and goals align with the organization's. You should also touch on how you match the position requirements in general. By reviewing how you align with the organization and how your skills match what they're looking for, you can forecast the contents of your cover letter before you move into your argument. Your argument is an important part of your cover letter because it allows you to persuade your reader why you are a good fit for the company and the organization. Carefully choose what you want to include in this argument. You want your argument to be as powerful as possible, but it shouldn't cloud your main points by excluding excessive or irrelevant details about your past. In addition, use your resume and refer to it as a source of data you will use to explain through your cover letter. In your argument, you should try to do a few things. These include 
Show to the reader you possess the most important skills that he or she seeks. Convince the reader that the company will benefit from hiring you. Include in each paragraph a strong reason why the employer should hire you. Maintain an upbeat and personable tone, and avoid explaining your entire resume, but use it instead as a source of data for the information you're presenting in your argument. Finally, the closing relates to your main points and reveals what you plan to do after your readers have received your resume and cover letter. I recommend you do the following in your closing. Restate why you align with the organization's mission and goals, and why your skills most importantly match the position and job requirements. Inform your readers that you're looking forward to discussing the position and include appropriate contact information. Remember, it's all about building goodwill, so appropriately thank your readers for their consideration.